Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7L today. Got some more Guild War for you guys. And of course, before we begin, the joke of the day from Icarus. Uh, I eat with the same group of friends every day. They're my taste buds. <laughs> That's not bad actually. It's not bad. Short, simple, and sweet. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into this first battle here. It's actually the last remaining tower that stands um, out of the three main ones. So there's Ahmed, Briarwitch, Assyria, and Aiden, and I'm not, I'm not really quite a fan of this team. Uh, Ahmed and Aiden are always really, really tricky to deal with. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and test this team out here. We're gonna bring in Arwell as a defensive unit uh, with Adamant Shield and her Escort buff. She's gonna be looking quite strong. Uh, and she'll be tanking the Briar Witch's hits after she does her S3, so we should be able to resist. Uh, I'm bringing in Arya as my damage dealer. She is on a Fairy Tale for a Nightmare for some extra damage, and she's on Life Steal, and she's with uh, built with Resist for some sustain. Mine's not really that great, just by looking at her stats here. Uh, I would love to get more imprints on her, and so I can build more health, but that just is not the case um, right now. I'm also bringing in Destina as kind of a fail-safe unit. Uh, she's on Garden Ice Crystals, just here to kind of heal, sustain, CR push, and cleanse. Um, but yeah, she'll be there to keep the Arya quite safe, even if Briar Witch somehow manages to debuff her, we'll be alright. Uh, for the bottom team, we're going up against A-Ravi, Winter, and Senya. It is um, quite interesting because normally this A-Ravi position would be like a Shu, right? Senya, Shu, and Winter is a very common defense that you might see. So I'm going to bring in Yolha as my tank, especially for the Winter. Uh, Winter will be dealing quite a bit of damage to her, but thanks to Doris also tanking the A-Ravi and having some cleansing capabilities with her S3, uh, we should be alright and uh, Yolha should be able to live. Now Milam will be able to take free pot shots at everybody, essentially, because nobody will be attacking her due to her element. Uh, Senya's gonna be avoiding her, uh, Ravi's gonna be attacking Doris, and Winter's gonna be attacking Yolha. So Milam, I put on Time Matter just for extra damage. I did get a copy of her artifact, which is quite nice, but no one's gonna be hitting her in this Guild War, and we can dispel Winter's stealth with her passive. So. Yeah, overall, pretty good synergy for that second team. Worried a little bit about this first one, though, because look at that. We're about to sustain quite a bit of damage here. I believe the buff will go to Briar Witch. Uh, no, it actually goes to Aiden. Um, I thought the title would go to the Briar Witch. I don't know how Ahmed's AI works. Um, but yeah, Destina taking the brunt of that hit there, which is quite unfortunate. But we should be able to heal her back up easy peasy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pop the S3. Let's go ahead and get a nice little barrier up for the team. And I could actually push the Arya up for the... Um, for the stealth on Destina, but I might as well just heal myself here and just take the hit. Because I'm going to get the barrier from... Uh, Arya, she's actually going to replenish that barrier that's on her, which is quite nice. So there we go. Uh, nice little hit there. I'm not going to hit the Aiden, I'm actually going to just let the Aiden hit herself um, with, with the Arya countering here. There we go, get that counter. Ooh, didn't hit the Aiden, but that's fine. We do get the AoE, we're gonna break that skill null. And that extra damage from the Fairy Tail artifact is actually gonna come in quite handy. Let's see if we can strip this Briar Witch here. There we go, very nice. And yeah, there you go, another counter attack. Briar Witch goes down. Oh, look at all that damage being dished out here. I'm gonna go for a push up on the Arya, just so she can take a turn before this Aiden goes again. And hopefully we finish her off. Yeah, there we go. Finally actually get a crit there at the very end. Quite nice. Alright, so Winter's gonna go here and Yolha is gonna take a pretty big stun. A little bit of damage as well. 
Uh, Senya's gonna go, should not hit the Milam. Oh, but, but it does! We're lucky we didn't get any uh, debuffs there. Okay, so with doors being hit, uh, Milam, let's go for a hit on the win. Ooh, do I? How tanky was the was the winter? Let's go for an S1. Let's get the attack buff. Oh, I probably could have killed with that S3. Okay, uh, with that, I think we can survive another turn. So that shouldn't be an issue. Ooh, that injury, that dual attack from the A Ravi was not good at all. There we go. So this is looking a bit better. Uh, Milam gets to go. Let's just punch this. Um, let's just punch her right there. And I think I'm gonna go for an S2. Let's go for a defense buff on everybody. Yoha is unhealable, but she should be okay now. Oh my god, that dual attack! It's hurting quite a bit because um, I really want <laughs> I really want Yoha's health. Look, we should be missing a lot more health there. We lost about set, um, 6k health to that uh, to that A Ravi. Uh, not a huge fan. So let's go ahead and hit the Yoha. Or sorry, hit the Senya. I'm gonna save my Yoha's burst because I think I'll be okay. Let's go for Milam's S3. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Very nice. Um, yeah, we should be okay with this. Let's just blind the A Ravi. Okay, he's not gonna get, be blinded. Let's punch the A Ravi. I'm gonna do a little wahaha. And with that, uh, ooh, Yoha's still not really in range to kill, but I don't want to provoke her. Let's just go ahead and pop the S3 for some damage then. It's going to be quite a bit of damage, although she does have Proof of Valor. Okay, so here comes the S3. <laughs> What's a blind debuff, right? Oh, man. All right, let's heal up. And uh, Milam should be able to finish her off. There you go. She hits so hard. It is ridiculous. Uh, there you have it. Top tower down. The other two are already down. And uh, that means Stronghold is going to be available as our last fight. Okay, time for our second match. I'm um, going to go ahead and fight this guy over here. Uh, Assassin. I like the way he <laughs> replaced one of the S's with a Z, um, but uh, yeah, I like the aesthetic, you know, totally not biased or anything with my own name here. Um, let's hop in and see what we can do. So the top team is going to be an annoying one, it's one I fought many times before. Uh, the Zeo is usually replaced with an Ahmed, so you see Ahmed, Meru, and uh, Aiden, but here with the Zeo it's equally as annoying because you can't really speed contest the Zeo. Uh, but what we can do is actually bait him out. Now, Zio's AI, I believe, attacks the person with the highest combat readiness. So in this case, it should be my Destina, who's 219 speed. Uh, with the 15% uh, resist from Guardian Ice Crystals and the 60% buff um, that's from her uh, Spirit's Blessing, yeah, we should be sitting at 290 effect resist, which means the Zio's gonna debuff me. Uh, here, <laughs> here we have uh, Arwal as our knight. She's relatively slow, but she's gonna be pretty tanky and gonna help uh, Milam be pretty resilient. Uh, Milam's the slowest out of the bunch, but I think we should be okay. I might actually change Milam over to her other artifact, but I am a little worried about the the Meru and whether or not we can kill her. But I think upgraded Dragon Knuckles uh, is not going to come into play too much here. So I'm going to keep her on Time Matter. Yeah, because I think the, the Zia is going to be attacking the Arwal afterwards. Uh, Meru's AoE is the only thing that really matters, and we're going to extinct her. And uh, I guess, yeah, Aiden's most problematic thing is her counterattack, but... We'll deal with that when we get there. For the second team, we're going up against C. Lilia, Shu, and A. Ravi. So why not bring in the good old Spez comp? Uh, C. Lilia is going to be going first, but Bunny Dom able to intercept that. Uh, buff the team with Barrier Immunity and push up and cleanse. Solitaria is going to be there to stun. 
and Spez is going to be there to just uh, absolutely demolish anything that is, well, stunned. Yeah, so let's go ahead and jump to this and see how it goes. Very happy for the second team, but we got to make sure we don't get 15 percent in. For the first team here, uh, Zio's going to go. That's a pretty speedy Aiden. Relatively uh, speedy. She has no attack buff or anything here, so she should not be able to kill Destina. Uh, especially through Arwal. Yeah, there we go. It's as if she did nothing. Uh, what I will do is use this stun on the Meru, though, because I want to strip that invincibility. Make sure we can actually hit her. Oh, okay. Or she's going to resist. That is also fine and dandy. Uh, if she resists, then I guess I'll just hit her to get the attack buff. I'm not ready to uh, hit the Aiden yet because I don't want my opponent to counter into me when I don't have um, my evasion. I say that as Milam gets her attack buff stripped, so that's fantastic. Right, but now at least now everything's going in onto Arwell, which is okay. Soften up the mirror here. Oh, she's on counter. Uh oh. Probably shouldn't have done that, but it's okay. Let's go for the S3 now on Milam into the Meru. Oh yeah, there we go. We should be able to get that. Oh, we were not able to get that. Wow. The attack buff getting stripped there actually matters quite a bit. Meru uh, hitting the Milam through <laughs> through evasion. Okay, things aren't really going my way here. Uh, so that kind of sucks. Let's pop Destina's S3 and fully heal everyone up. Um, little concerned, because Arwal's taking uh, a bunch of damage. But take out the Meru. Zeo's gonna keep going into the Arwell. She might go down. Hopefully she doesn't. Okay, there we go. And let's just punch the Meru. There we go. And let's heal up the Arwell. I think Eden's gonna have her S3 very soon. But we do have our S3, so let's get that barrier going. Let's stun the Zeo so he can't do any shenanigans on this next turn. He also lost his DFI, so we actually get to do damage to him. Okay, so I'm gonna go for a hit on the Zeo, and Milam should be able to wahaha here. Okay, so Aiden has one more turn. Okay, good. We got rid of the Zeo. We do have extra hit chance on the Milam. I should have probably put on Symbol of Unity, now that I think about it. That would have been a good artifact for this fight. So we missed there. She's going to counter. Arwell taking the brunt of the hits. Uh, she's going to go down. Can Milam do this? Uh, I don't really know. We'll save the S2 for afterwards. Let's see if we can actually hit her with the S3. Oh yeah, very nice. It came down to a 50-50. Again, I should have put a symbol on her instead of time matter. Uh, but that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, Milam's extra hit chance actually works quite well with Symbol of Unity. Getting extra 40% hit chance, so there's only a 10% chance she even misses on ice units if you have that on her. Okay, so now let's go and pop the Bunny Dom. Push up the team. Spez gets uh, the attack buff. This is Guild War is always a nice little change of pace from uh, from the good old RTA. A lot less stress. <laughs> a lot less stress. There we go. All right. So let's go in on the shoe. Shoe would have been annoying to let live because if I killed the A. Oh my God! No. <gasps> Ooh, that! That that is why because um, if she puts up the anti crit buff, we are in a little bit of trouble. So a Ravi gonna get uh, the turn, gonna hit the spez. That is not good at all. <laughs> wow, that just happened, guys. Um. Yeah, that just happened. So, I don't think we can win this anymore. 
I mean, we can definitely try, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, let's chip down the shoe while I still can. This might be something I might need to fast forward. Oh, unless we're just gonna die here. I, I have to control this shoe. Uh, otherwise, there's absolutely no way. Speed down the sea, Lilius. I do appreciate that. Go for a little bit of healing and a push. Alright, as you guys can see, we have a draw available on the top right. We've been in here for quite a while now. Um, but yeah, Solitary able to finish things off pretty smoothly. Um, aside from a couple A Ravi counters here and there, uh, we were pretty good. Uh, the skill null from Bunny Dom also made it so that A Ravi, if she ever took a turn accidentally, could never actually really mount a comeback. And I, I made sure to save my Bunny Dom's S3 so that if the A Ravi uh, ever did get two turns in a row somehow, uh, that we would have a uh, skill null ready again. And of course, last but not least, we have our stronghold. Now, it is getting pretty late, it's almost midnight for me. And it's a Friday evening, so my brain is uh, pretty much melted. Uh, so at this point, I am just going to go on autopilot and <laughs> play pretty safe for the first team. I tried for about 5 minutes, 10 minutes, uh, to come up with a team that I can use into this. And honestly, can't really think of anything, because the Ahmed skill null is going to be very annoying. Uh, yeah, so we're going to bring in Karina against this Rimuru Meru comp. I think it should work quite well. She's very, very tanky, and the true damage is going to work quite nicely, even if I attack the Rimuru. Now, Krau is going to be here as the uh, ice bait, hopefully. I mean, there's a 50-50 chance that Karina takes the brunt of Rimuru's hits, but we have Destina here to make sure that she is relatively safe and healthy. Krau can also provide her with a defense buff, uh, and if she does get hit, she's probably going to survive, so she'll be able to stay alive and do some more damage. Uh, for the bottom team over here, uh, we are going up against a similar team, the exact same team that we fought before, earlier in the Guild War Winter, uh, A-Ravi and the Senya. So we're going to bring in Yoha for the damage mitigation, uh, and the Milam here for the damage. Now again, no one's really going to be hitting Milam, so we're just going to bring Time Matter with us uh, for the extra damage. And of course, the ability to reset our skills. Um, we're going to bring in Doris again to uh, kind of tank out the A Ravi, and all should be well. So let's go ahead and jump into this, and again, see how it goes. Hopefully this time the A Ravi doesn't just dual attack twice into Yoha and uh, chip away 7,000 of her base health. Okay, so Ahmed goes, we get that skill null. Meru gets pushed up, Rimuru's gonna go. Uh, he's actually gonna hit the Karina, but that's okay. There's a lot of true damage coming in, but it, mm, it should be fine. Never mind, it's no longer fine. <laughs> Karina getting hit uh, by that big uh, chunky damage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, pop the S3 a little prematurely, but it's better to keep the Karina nice and healthy here. I think what I'll do is just go straight into the Meru. If I can defense break her, we should be able to finish her off. I don't want her to have that uh, attack and crit damage buff. It's the main reason, so... Ooh, she's gonna proc the magic for friends before she goes down, which is very unfortunate. But we're able to take her out here, so at least she won't have her damage buff for this part. Alright, everyone's attacking into the Karina, so what I'll do is heal her up, we'll push her up and have her take out the Meru. There we go. <laughs> of course she has to get one last counter in before she goes down. And the Rimuru taking those buffs, uh, quite a problem. Okay, uh, yeah, wow, this Ahmed is going to be turn cycling this Rimuru now. Not the greatest. We're just going to have to live with it, yeah? Uh, Rimuru has one more turn until his S3, so let's break his skill null because Ahmed just applied it. We should be safe. And we'll go for that. Nice little defense break. Let's keep attacking him, see if we can finish him off. Krau's horse can definitely finish him off, 
but we have to uh, take the turn before him. But he has that swift attack buff from earlier, so maybe not. Uh, there's way less buffs on his team though, yeah, so ooh, Karina barely surviving. Let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> let's patch her up here. Uh, does this actually kill? I don't know, but we'll go for the Ahmed, see if we can get that splash damage onto that Rimuru. If it doesn't kill, then we'll use Kral's horse, right? Yeah, it doesn't kill here. So to play it safe, I'm just going to go ahead and force him with the Kral. And we should be good. Ahmed, there's no way that she can uh, beat this team here. And he had another Analyze on himself, too. Alright, the good thing is, even with Skill Null, uh, Karina does have her Rocket Punch Gauntlet. So you still get damage. And now Kral can uh, finish things off, even not on his turn. <laughs> Quite nice. Okay, so the second fight here. Uh, Winter going into the Yoha. Yep. And Senya's gonna pop that SME. Hopefully, this time around, uh, Senya actually doesn't hit my Milam. Would be great. Okay, uh, see, I can't tell if that's a miss or what. I think it actually hit, but it just didn't land the buff. I don't know, it's, it's a little strange. Maybe it did miss. Maybe we just both times we missed the. Miss text. That's that's probably what happened, right? Surely. Okay, well, Milam's gonna go. Let's pop this winter here. Very nice. Get that evasion buff. We'll go ahead and defense buff here now that winter's gone. Oh my gosh, look at those dual attacks. Okay, so let's go in on the Senya. We get countered here, but that is fine. Okay, I think we're doing alright. Let's hit this. There we go. Decrease the hit chance. Uh, because again, that absolutely always works, as you can tell. <laughs> always. Oh yes, another dual attack. Fantastic. Right, let's go on the Senya once more. Ooh, nice little crit from the Milum. Let's get that defense buff replenished. Yolha's never doing anything here, but that's fine. Yeah, she's gonna just provoke the Ravi, I guess. Uh, let's go for an S1 to maintain our attack buff. We're gonna get a Wahaha, and then next turn we can pop her S3. Right, so that's the plan. Uh, do we push up the Milam? No, let's just go for a blind here. Because she is about to pop her S3, not that it really matters. Oh, it did this time! Hey, look! <laughs> uh, the, the crit actually missed. Okay. That's quite alright. Let's go ahead and pop Milam's S3. We still have the attack buff. Is it gonna be enough? And it is! There you go, Milam doing huge amounts of damage even into a Ravis that are on proof of valor. Uh, yeah, very useful unit for dispelling stealth, great in Guild Wars, and fantastic in RTA 2. Uh, but with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more Epic 7 content. And until next time, take care.